Hello, I'm Li Yong. I'm delighted to speak to you about my vision for UNIDO. This organization has made great achievements contributing to poverty reduction and sustainable development. I have full confidence in UNIDO. Currently, UNIDO is facing a historic opportunity to play a unique role in the international development agenda by promoting inclusive growth and a sustainable industrial development. And work together with you to give UNIDO a better tomorrow, to give the world a better tomorrow. Thank you very much. We started with a meeting in Vienna, which I attended in uh, 2007. There, UNIDO came to the conclusion that there is a potential for UNIDO to be established in Malaysia to bring about the need for increased energy efficiency for the manufacturing sector in the country. The government of Malaysia has been undertaking many programs to increase energy efficiency and conservation in the country in line with our agenda to address climate change and global warming. And our collaboration with UNIDO under the Industrial Energy Efficiency for Malaysia Manufacturing Sector Programme is one of the many initiatives uh, geared towards energy efficiency and conservation in the country. And from the feedback uh, of the participants, we noticed that they have achieve actual savings in terms of uh, the energy um, bills and they have been able to operate and utilize energy in a more efficient manner. That's very important because we need to optimize our energy resources of the country. As the only OEM uh, in Malaysia, uh, Proton uh, use uh, a large amount of uh, uh, electricity and in fact, in 2014, our bill is 75 million ringgit per annum. And when we started our investigation to find out who is the best uh, assistant for us, you know, we, we met UNIDO in uh, early 2015. From there on, I think uh, we managed to, to have a good uh, understanding on how best we can reduce uh, energy costs. We are following a system like how we follow into all the other certification programs. This is also a system that we have to follow. It has to be cultivated. It's all about a mindset uh, and attitude. Because I think we'll include in the master plan that energy savings should be the primary and the priority. That's more important. The project has five major components that are first to assist local government with development of national industrial energy efficiency policy and plans. Second is the awareness creation on the energy management and systems optimization, especially targeted at plant top management. The third and fourth is a capacity building component under the energy management system program, which is in line with MS ISO 50001 and systems optimization program targeting uh, on four systems, which is a pump, compressed air, fan and steam system. A final component is access to finance for industrial EE improvement where criteria for evaluation of industrial energy efficiency projects for use by financial institution will be reviewed, harmonised and streamlined. By joining this uh, UNIDO program, we can learn more better way or systematic in doing this uh, energy saving program in terms of uh, energy cost. When our energy manager, Mr. Sadesh, approached me about the idea, I was thrilled. I got the HODs together and I informed them that we are going to accept the partnership of UNIDO to move forward of bringing in savings as well as reducing our wastages. Under the capacity building program for both e uh, energy management system and system optimization training programs, we have been conducting basic two days user training at various locations in Malaysia. I came to know about UNIDO in a seminar in 2011. 
So upon the seminar, then I saw the keen and my interest in this energy management system. Because I'm from an engineering background, which I have a lot of engineering principles in it. Through this, I'm, I correlated along with the international trainers and assist them, I basically learn from them, get the expert knowledge and try to coach the local industries from the medium industries and the large industries how to develop the energy harnessing. I'm, I'm pretty impressed uh, by what I see so far uh, in Malaysia. I hear that uh, large companies uh, are required to have energy managers uh, managing their use of, of uh, their resources. Uh, in Canada, we, we don't have that. Uh, the benefit that the company is getting is the implementation of energy management system because for us, I, we feel that it is very important for you to have a systematic way of managing the energy efficiency in your organization. Actually, it has been really beneficial to me. It has been a great source of help and guidance because through these programs which directly guide me with the equipment, uh, equipment that uh, we get it from UNITO program, so it has been a really an eye-opener because uh, we through the assessment activities, uh, we have done some initiatives to improve or reduce energy losses. FMM members who participated in the training have been able to bring, to bring back the knowledge uh, from the training to their factories. They have been able to implement some low-cost measures and improve energy efficiency at their plants. Basically, the uh, technical knowledge as well as also valuable experience shared by the expert trainer, especially on system approach optimization. This definitely will benefit me, in, uh, especially in my, my career, future career goal. When I start to join these uh, trainings, I have the ability to explain more in class what, what the industry are doing, how we do the measurements, not just on the theoretical part, more on the practical and how that is being done. By doing so, by joining this training, I can get um, a lot of exposure outside of the university, which is something that a university needs. Well, based on my auditing experience, our clients that have been attended the UNIDO training, they show better understanding in energy management and what is energy efficiency is all about. The program has successfully trained over 1,600 people under the user training and over 230 people under the expert trainings. Over 300 companies and facilities have participated in our training program. Since I'm uh, the trainer in this, uh, in this project, I would uh, mention two things that I find extremely uh, beneficial and where I have really enjoyed to be part of this project. And one thing is uh, the equipment center we have established here in Seonbang. The second thing is uh, that I enjoy very much is, of course, then the candidates come back. And uh, with the help of the equipment we have uh, bought in the connection with the project, especially projects with a very low payback time, it makes me happy and I think it's, it's an important uh, goal for, for the project because it's a matter of implement a culture more than implement uh, technical um, projects in Malaysia, I think. From the expert training, we have recorded over 30 case studies on successful implementation of energy management and system optimization energy saving initiatives. UNIDO merely provides uh, training and capacity building. The next step towards this energy efficiency agenda is to implement uh, what the participants or the companies have uh, learned and you need to spend a little bit to achieve this energy saving. Of course, I do not uh, deny that you can achieve energy efficiency through no cost uh, initiatives. But moving forward, the companies do have to incur a little bit of um, capex for the um, energy efficiency program. Specific electricity consumption for compressed air system in one of our complexes, the soap noodle complex, reduced by 60%, bringing in savings close to 100,000 ringgit per annum. Specific consumption on natural gas reduction by 1% has brought in equivalent savings of close to 400,000 ringgit per annum. Steam consumption has reduced by approximately 1.5 tons per hour, which is equivalent to around 800,000 
ringgit per annum. The energy management system and system optimization programs have helped to soften the ground and was able to demonstrate real benefits to the industry players and stakeholders. It has encouraged companies to move towards ISO 50001 certification and to focus on sustainability of the system and energy saving activities. To me is um, a great thing to have how improvements can be made once this program comes to an end. There has to be some sort of stimulus to to get the uh, local industries to change um, and some of that stimulus might have to be some funding for training and uh, possibly funding for projects, help uh, companies pay for the projects uh, so that the ROI is better. Okay, so far after working along uh, with uh, Unidor, uh, I think easily about 20%. The last time we, we, don't, we don't bother, you know, as a small company, we don't bother all this. We just pay, we just go on like that. But after that, after we gone through with all these courses, huh, we understand better. We took every step. Uh, that's why we can see the reduction. By implementing this uh, proper energy conservation program, uh, we can save the energy cost. For example, in year 2014, uh, we can save about 10% of our energy cost, which is about 360,000 USD. And in fact, in last year, 2015, uh, we can save about 8%, which is uh, about 285,000 USD. I think since we started our collaboration together with Unido uh, in uh, May last year, over the last nine months, we have uh, saved close to 10 million ringgit. And this is 13% of our uh, 2014 consumption, uh, which is very, very good. You know, we, we never expect this such amount. And I think uh, with this kind of savings, we would like to, to, to thank uh, Unido uh, for their help based uh, on, on what they have uh, uh, taught us and also they lend us their expertise as well. The journey has been a long one. Unido has sent their experts visiting us, advising us, giving us expensive equipments to monitor, to chart down, to deliver and return with their inputs. Yes, uh, we are very happy and satisfied uh, whatever the work collaboration with UNIDO in this uh, energy conservation program. So we hope in future we can work together again with UNIDO to save uh, more energy in our factory operation. I must thank UNIDO for coming to Malaysia and extending its uh, assistance in the area of energy efficiency and conservation under the Industrial Energy Efficiency for Malaysia Manufacturing Sector Program. Uh, we hope to continue with this um, collaboration with UNIDO whereby uh, UNIDO can uh, assist the government towards Malaysia's agenda to reduce uh, carbon emissions and also contribute to the global agenda on sustainable energy for all.